Hey, what's up, you dirty Christians? I'm Drew, and I'm the Dirty Christian. In case you need a reminder of what month it is, I hate it. I hate you. Look at it. Look at it. It's so welcome to the 5-Minute Friday Show, the show that I try to catch up with you guys on what's been going on in the week, try to give you a little bit of insight into my life, the Indians lost, the World Series, and that's okay. I'm actually kind of happy that the Cubs won. It had been... 108 years or so since they won and I sporty sport 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 so it's really important to me so if you've been paying attention to the page you'll notice that I posted a response to Brandon Hatmaker who is the husband of Jen Hatmaker the woman who recently came out saying that same-sex relationships can be holy in the sense of a marriage and essentially now things are steamrolling downhill real fast and real bad people like the singer Nicole Nordman has come on board praising Jen Hatmaker for what she has said. Of course, that has caused controversy towards the fans of Nicole Nordman, who, if you remember, was very popular in the early 2000s for a lot of her Christian music. Also, Hillsong United's lead singer slash songwriter Joel Houston has come out praising Jen Hatmaker for her words, which leads to a lot of questions for people on what is going on with the doctrine in some of these churches. Instead of people that are standing up and saying, this is not us, this is not what we believe scripture says in very clear terms and ways, we really like what you have to say. Instead of saying what has been for hundreds and hundreds of years recognized as sound biblical doctrine from scholars, theologians, even some gay people who have studied the scripture say yes, the scripture is clear, homosexuality is a sin before God. Even after hundreds of years of that, some guy with 22 years of life experience reads the Bible to justify his homosexuality and starts a movement for all of these people now to say, oh yeah, well, I buy that. And I'm speaking of Matthew Vines, if you're not familiar with it, but he's a very young guy. He's a very charismatic guy. He speaks well. He goes on tour. He talks to people. And of course, he gives people who live in sin hope that they can continue living in sin, which is part of the reason that Jen and Brandon Hatmaker and those that are following in their footsteps are being denounced by the church, by Orthodox Christians, saying, that's not what scripture says, and we're not gonna be a part of that. We don't adhere to those teachings, and we don't agree with what's being said. And then of course, today news comes out that Clayton Jennings if you're not familiar with Clayton, he is a public speaker. He's very popular on social media. He does a lot of poetry, a lot of spoken word poetry. He has been friends with guys like Marcus Rogers and Josh Feuerstein. But up until this point, there has been no issue, nothing coming up, nothing coming out against him. But he's always kind of rubbed people the wrong way. It just came out today through the Polemics Report, which is run by J.D. Hall, who does a lot of stuff where he uncovers heresy in the church, he uncovers false teachings, he warns people about false teachers. It's possible that Clayton Jennings has been seducing young women on his page, through his page, through his ministry, and having relationships that are not godly with them. Now all of this is speculation, nothing has actually come out, there is no legal case against him. But since this one story has aired, it appears that other girls have come out and said, yeah, he's pursued me via social media, he sent me messages, he sent me text, even though I didn't pursue him, I had nothing to do with him. So this begs the question, and this is what I want to ask you guys today. Now Clayton Jennings, he's a good looking guy. Marcus Rogers, he's a good looking guy. But a lot of these guys tend to attract young women who are interested in their looks, they are interested in their message, but they also have these ideas of this is the perfect Christian guy because he's good looking and he loves the Lord. And it leads to a lot of temptation, it leads to a lot of possible bad relationships that could come about. Do you guys think that this could have anything to do with their teaching? Could this be based up solely upon their looks? Is it the fault of the social media voice or is it the fault of the people that are pursuing them? I just thank God that I look like Shrek and with this mustache nobody's gonna pursue. But
In all seriousness, I have got messages from girls that, even though they haven't been flirting with me, they are confessing some sins that may not be appropriate for them to confess to me. And I usually try to lead them in a direction to go talk to their pastor, go talk to someone else. Of course, my wife and I are accountable. She has access to all of my accounts. And my pastor is on board and my accountability partner too when it comes to this ministry. I've given him full permission to speak into my life as he should as a pastor, but I have headship. So is the issue, do you think, is it the good looks of the person? Is it the social media presence? and just the fact that that's the nature of the game, or is it a lack of spiritual headship? I'd like to know what your guys' opinion and your thoughts are on this whole thing, and you can leave your comments below in the box. Tell me what you think. I'd like to know. And of course, if you guys like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Share it with your friends, tell your buddies about it, or at least share it with your worst enemies and make them suffer through my mustache. And of course, as of every Friday, I'm going to be spending time with the kids. I think we're going to watch a movie tonight, and we're getting some Papa Murphy's pizza. Not sponsored by Papa Murphy's. But we're going to get some pizza, have some leftover Halloween candy that we got the day after Halloween because we don't trick-or-treat. That's what we're going to do. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. I love you. God bless you. Dirty Christian, out.